I'm Ali Grayman. I'm an expert in OCD recovery because for the last 19 years, I've been helping people fully recover from OCD. If you would like to do personal coaching with me, all the information is on youhaveocd.com. You can sign up from there. Today, I wanted to talk to you about your number one enemy in your fight against OCD. That is your rumination. OCD relies on you ruminating all day long. And you have to really understand this, like in your core, that when you're sitting there and you're trying to figure out thought number one million, you're playing into OCD's hand. You're doing exactly what you need to do to make OCD stronger. Just that realization, when you uh, feel that in your core, not just like, oh, yeah, 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 I know, Ali, but really feel that, that right now I'm sitting here and powering up the very thing I want to get rid of. Why am I doing that? Why am I falling for it? Is it because the anxiety is high? Well, I know that it gives me anxiety in order to get me not to react. It's trying to give me anxiety. And look within yourself. Why are you doing that? Are you doing that because you are afraid of the anxiety? Are you afraid of the content? Because you've had both. You've had anxiety for a long time now. And you've had this content for a long time now. So are you afraid of the thing that you're experiencing every moment of every day? Because you know what that's like. You know that you're going to have another thought and another thought and it will also come with anxiety and, and it will also want you to react because it's a pattern, a pattern in which you are the slave that is ruminating all the time to keep the machine going. So you are like the battery. So in this moment, right now, are you going to choose to continue to be the battery to power up the very thing that you're trying to get rid of because the very thing that you're trying to get rid of is throwing some anxiety at you that you feel every day anyway when throwing a thought number one million at you, which you had many, many times? Are you going to do its bidding? Are you going to go on Reddit? Are you going to go on Google? Are you going to confess, check, try to figure it out again and again and again? Are you going to do that? Or are you going to make the more difficult choice of not doing that, pushing forward, even though you feel extremely uncomfortable and actually get rid of this thing, you have a choice. It feels in the moment you don't have a choice. I guarantee you, I promise you, you have a choice. When you are typing in Reddit or clicking on the Reddit app, you have a choice. You're just making the wrong choice. If it's too easy, if it feels like, oh, I already I already got on there before I even thought of getting on there, well, make it more difficult for yourself. Put some barriers in place where it's not that easy for you to, to find it on your phone or it's not that easy for you to uh, um, log into it or whatever. Make it a little bit more difficult so then there's a, a thought that can happen between the the going right for the compulsion. Talk to your family members. Tell them, when I fail and ask you for reassurance, you are not to give me reassurance. And then I will cry and plead and beg and scream and still don't give me reassurance. Put those barriers in place. But ultimately, it comes from the choice. The choice is the first critical thing here. You need to choose recovery over momentary, maybe potential slight relief. Because you're going to pay for that momentary relief later when your OCD becomes worse because you powered it up. So choose recovery. Thank you for listening. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. If you would like to do private coaching with me, please sign up through youhaveocd.com. I'll see you tomorrow.